22. Okay, so what are we doing here? Yeah, I'm making pizza. Uh -huh. What kind of pizza is this? Yeah, it's here. It's written medium with the sliced pepperoni okay. and double cheese. Okay. What's this here? Yeah, this one is proud. Can I throw some in the air? Yeah, why not? Can I throw a lot of it in the air? Yeah, I'll put it here. Okay. You want. Wow. Hey, remember Scarface? Whoa. <coughs> <coughs> oh, God. That was Punch Buggy. Yeah! An exciting... Yeah. And uh, we'll be talking to them a little later. That's an exciting way to start the show. Yeah, it's really exciting. With the loud uh, banging drums. Look at that the... thing happening. Huh? Yeah. We'll talk about that later. Oh, yeah. Uh, also on the show today, we have uh, Barry uh, Nabiathan, and he's going to be here to talk about bagels, as well as Steve Anderson, who is the nine-time U.S. and world karate champion. So he's going to be on to do some karate and some, some demonstrations of uh, martial arts ballet, which uh, you used to do martial arts, right, Glenn? <laughs> oh, we're not going to go into this no. again. Uh, and Punch Buggy as well. And the thing about Punch Buggy that I like, yeah, the thing that I like the most about Punch Buggy is, uh, is Adam's hair. The fact that we'll never have a complete life until we have hair like that. Oh, we're doing the TV talk again. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll never have complete. Adam, let's see it. Come here. Hi. The, the story behind me and Adam as well is Adam and I, not me and Adam, but Adam and I, we uh, met in Elliott Lake how long ago? Um, 1988. 1988, I was uh, visiting my grandmother and grandfather, who uh, lived in Elliott Lake for about six months. Um, yeah, just down the road from where I live. Did you ever meet my grandparents? Uh, yeah, no, no, I didn't. <laughs> and uh, and uh, I was skateboarding down the road, and uh, he was skateboarding down the road, and I think we were probably the only two skateboarders in Elliott Lake. Were no, we? we weren't, remember? Because I had the skateboard for Okay, there was a couple others. And, uh, and then we just met, and it's been, uh, anyways, that's all. Yeah. Nice hair, though. All right, thank you. But we brought in here. You've got. We brought some pictures of, of, of hair as well. Uh, our haircuts, because we have we some go to yours first. Uh, let's do yours first. Oh, well, well, no, we'll alternate. We'll alternate. Okay. Okay, so here's one of Glenn. 
Yeah, don't show Zoom in on that puppy. Oh, there we go. That's when your mom has control of the scissors just too long. Yeah. Okay, now here's one of me. Maybe stay on that shot, and I'll just throw another one up. Here's, here's another one of me. And you might notice that my haircut is exactly the same when I was six years or four years old as it is now. And this is the, I think, the topper. Which one did we show? This one? Yeah. Oh, well, we've got to show these ones. We've got to show these ones. <laughs> Isn't that nice? What was that? Hmm? What was that? What? That's how old. What was what? Well, how old were you when you got that one done? The picture? Well, yeah, the picture. Your Which hair. picture? This picture here? This picture here or yeah, this picture? Yeah, that one. No, that one. Which one? Both. Both pictures? When did I get both pictures done? <laughs> yeah. Which one? That one. Here, go for that one. That was my high school graduation. And uh, this was my uh, middle school graduation, grade eight grad. No, that's your vault, though, no? from uh, yeah. five to uh, 18. Yeah. So what's going on now? How long do we have till, uh, are we wrapping up this? And we're going to bring out our first guest? Sounds we're bringing good. out, you know, Barry uh, has been on, on the Midnight Caller before, which is a radio show on, on CHUO. Uh, Barry was a guest on that about a year ago. And uh, he, he's from Bagel Bagel. And he's brought some bagels in that we're going to enjoy eating together because um, we're hungry. And uh, is he coming out now? OK, Barry Nabiathan. You what look, are all these? You look very what thin. are all these? You look very thin. I thought maybe mm. you should have some bagels. Become I like am very thin. <laughs> I'm a thin person. I baked those myself a oh, well. few hours ago. Now, these are uh, New York-style bagels, right? These are New York-style bagels, which means that they have nothing but water, flour, and yeast. Uh, unlike Montreal bagels, which Where has... Where they add uh, butter, butter and... Honey. Honey. A plus, bro. You got it right this time. We had butter and honey in Montreal. And, and, yeah. and how'd you start? Someone uh, you know was from the Bronx, right? That's right. And yeah. uh, you and some friends started make, thought it would be neat to make some bagels in Ottawa because um, there was no real fresh bagel store in Ottawa. Exactly. So your friend from the Bronx said, why not start a bagel store? Because that's really popular in, in, in New York. That's right. That's right. In New York, I don't know if you have lived there, in just about every other block or so, they have got these bagel shops. And when we came, I lived in New York myself, incidentally, for 10 years before coming here. Mm -hmm. And when we talked about it, there are five of us in the business. Okay. And we all agreed that it was a wonderful idea. And of course, the Byward Market was the best location because you get all kinds of people there. And we started it in 1980, and it has been a wonderful experience. We really love it. And all kinds of people? Uh, all kinds, yes. <laughs> like all sizes, all kinds. Tourists, you know. A lot of crazy. Um those two people. Yeah. <laughs> so we are open 24 hours on, on weekends, tomorrow night and Saturday night. And every hour of the evening, of the morning, you get different kinds of people. I was surprised to find uh, out that you uh, cooked, uh, what, 12, a thousand dozen bagels a day? 12,000 dozen? What is uh, it? 1,000 dozen a 1, day. 1,000 dozen. That's for the whole thing. Yeah, that's right. In fact, they are baking them right now. And by 6 o'clock in the morning, they'll be delivered to supermarkets, cafeterias, grocery stores, places like that. It's exciting. Well, would you want, which, what, what's all this here? Though? What's this platter? Well, I've got Describe several. Describe the platter for me. I've got several different kinds of sandwiches here. Cream cheese on bagel, ham and cheese, turkey, smoked meat. Cream cheese on bagel is a classic. Actually, cream cheese, bagel, and lox, which mm -hmm. is uh, salmon. Salmon. Right. But I was so hungry, I ate it on the way to here. You ate the lot. <laughs> right. So what's this one? That's ham and cheese. You ever put, um, this is ham and cheese. Ham and cheese. Okay, well, we're going to go to a segment, OK? okay. And we're going to come back, and we're going to taste some of these. Great. OK. Um, I guess we'll just go to that segment now. We went down to 
Parliament Hill, I think. That's what it is. And we walked around there, so we're going to go have a look at that, I guess. The city. Which ones? That one over there is the Parliament? Uh, no, actually that is West Block. The Parliament itself is right behind you here in Centre Block where you have the um, House of Commons and the Senate. So most of these statues are made out of iron and it's amazing the amount of them you can find on the hill here. They're scattered all over. There's one of Sir John A. Macdonald over here. This one of course is Queen Elizabeth and her horse. And uh, There's all sorts to see down here at Parliament Hill. I suggest you come down and have a look around. Um, well, let's go talk to some other people. Excuse me, pigeons. Excuse me, pigeons. Pigeons, excuse me. Ex excuse me. Excuse me, pigeons. Excuse me. Excuse me, pigeons. Excuse me. Excuse me, pigeons. Excuse. What is this building? This is the museum, right? Uh, no, it's uh, Parliament. What's that? Well, actually, I'm, my field of expertise is mostly on the guided tours going inside the building here. Okay, where, where is the building, though, the Parliament buildings? The Parliament building? They're right next to the uh, Rideau, the Ottawa, um, Ottawa River. Okay, no, I just want to know how I can find them, because I want to go down to them today and have a look around, but I've been looking all over. Well, actually, you are on Parliament Hill. The Parliament buildings are right here. You know, the way I feel about you is... Not the way I've ever felt like anyone before. I, when I look at you, I see someone very special <laughs> and very important to me. <laughs> what, what building is this here? This is the center block of Parliament uh, precinct. Okay. And uh, and uh, are you uh, are you a MP? No, I'm not an MP. I'm plain constable of the house here. So. Okay, so how many stores are in here? Stores? Well, we've got one souvenir shop, but uh, that's about it. Uh, all, everything else is offices. Okay, well, there's uh, shoe stores and, and obviously... Uh... No, sir. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Is uh, Mr. Crecce around? I think he's gone to lunch with uh, the vice president uh, okay. over 24 Sussex, so I think they're having a working lunch right now. Okay, because we want to talk to him. Well, I'm sure he'd be happy to say hello if he passed by, but I have a feeling he's gone to 24 Sussex. What do you think he's having for lunch? <laughs> no idea. It's a working lunch, so it shouldn't be too elaborate anyway. Does he have a favorite lunch? Uh, probably something pretty simple, but I don't check his menu. What's your favorite lunch? Oh, just some kind of sandwich or soup. <laughs> Would you like to do a little dance with me? <laughs> there are no shoe stores or uh, any other kind of uh, stores except... Is there a bakery? Is there a bakery? No, sir. Okay, so what, what kind of stores are in this mall then? The, that's not a mall, sir. That is the Parliament building. <laughs> is that all that you're doing? Just, just on the road like that? <laughs> I'm doing that thing. <laughs> You're not like the other girls. <laughs> You're not at all like them. You've got your own personality. And I like the funny things you do, the way you make me laugh, the crazy things you say to me. How am I doing? How are you guys doing? Is, um, is that Jean Chrétien right there? No, that's not Jean Chrétien. No? <laughs> is that? Oh, yeah, I was about to say, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. How, how are you today, Mr. Chrétien? <laughs> how are you doing today? Can we come in and, uh, and look around? Yeah! Oh. yeah!
says here, uh, says here your favorite bagel is smoked meat on sesame. Oh, you said it right. I love it. We've got stuff on you. <laughs> you know too much about me already. <laughs> Which one? Do you have a smoked meat and sesame here? I've got the smoked meat and pumpernickel bagel here. This one. This is the best kind that you could possibly try then? But this is my favorite. So would you say it was the best kind that you could possibly try? Yes. yes. This one here? Absolutely. Okay. I shouldn't even be eating anything right now, you know. Oh, why not? <laughs> why, uh... Well, you, if you really want to know, I have a, <clears throat> I have a parasite on my stomach <laughs> right now, and uh, and um, well, it's kind of embarrassing to talk about it, right? <laughs> but I'll take a try of it. My doctor says it looks a lot like a steak, actually. <laughs> take a bite and see if you like it. Well, I think it looks a little more like a roast, personally. I'll show you. I, Maybe I should. <laughs> Just, uh... Oh, boy. <laughs> see there. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. <laughs> Actually... Uh... <laughs> Maybe... Now, is there such thing as steak uh, bagels? You can put steak on bagels, right? Uh, we haven't, but I guess you give me an idea. Right that. I've, I've had steak on a bagel before, a bagel bagel, right. I think. But nothing like this, I think. Not that type of steak. No. Not that specific kind that of steak. Kind. <laughs> no. <laughs> Have you ever had steak on a bagel, Glenn? Not like that, no. no. So, how long have you been, uh, you've been, it's been 20 years or something, right? 15 years. 15 years. Since July 1980. How many people in the audience have ever had a bagel before? <laughs> it's a low fat food. It's the lowest fat kind of bread. Right. We're really promoting bagels today, aren't we? Yeah, good job. It is, it is really healthy. There is no sugar and no fat of any kind in bagels. Mm -hmm. So ounce by ounce, it's the least calorific kind of bread. How many bagels do you eat uh, a week, would you say? Approximately how many bagels would you say that you ate in a week? Probably. If you were to eat a certain amount of bagels in a week, how many would you say you would eat in a week? How many bagels? Probably 50 or so. 50? Yes. So you basically, you basically eat bagels and, instead of bread. That's right. In place of bread, you'll eat bagels. Exactly, right, right. <laughs> Do you see? One second. Well, we say that um, that's probably a, a, a healthier. Uh, <laughs> I have to be able to speak like you. The answer is yes. <laughs> so do you want to sing a little song with me? Sure. <laughs> Do you know any songs? <laughs> Barry? I can't remember any, but you're making me nervous. Uh -huh. <laughs> On the radio show, we sang uh, Puff the Magic Dragon yeah, yeah. together. That's right, you have a good memory, that's right. Yeah, sure. Well, let's sing it. I taped it. <laughs> and, uh, you want to sing it again? Yeah, let's do it. Sure. Or do you, do you want to dance? <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell you, I'm a better dancer than a singer, that's for when sure. Do you want one of these? Let's sing it again, okay? <laughs> Let's sing it and dance it, though. Okay. Huh? Okay. 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 <laughs> Maybe we'll just go out in here on the floor here, okay? I'm fine with No, we don't have too long. <laughs> we'll do this really quickly. A slow dance, though, okay? <laughs> Do you want to do a tango? Pop the magic dragon by the sea. Pop the magic dragon by the sea. Pop the magic dragon by the sea. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs>
How long do we have left here? Oh, okay, we, we gotta go, Barry. Uh, okay. But thanks for coming on. Well, thank you. A lot of me. fun, and uh, can we keep these, or do you want these? Enjoy these. Do you want to, you, to, yeah. you brought these for us? Yes, exactly. Okay, well, thanks for the yeah. dance and everything. <laughs> thanks for having me. Just to see you. I think the reason I was feeling a little nervous tonight, was and I'm going to openly acknowledge it, is because this tape <laughs> on, that's holding the meat on yeah. was tight, and I can hardly breathe. Are you full of blood, steak blood? On so you? what are you, uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing now about the thing <sighs> that I was telling you about? I have no when idea has what this you're about. problem that he has? No. Oh. Because uh, Glenn actually slept at my house last night, on my sofa. Maybe you should talk about it. No, you say I do that, and I don't think so. so. Yeah. Glenn that, has this, this is what you're coming up with. Glenn has this thing where he sort of talks in his sleep. Because um, we were working late last night on, uh, on, on some things. Yeah. Working hard. And... Um, and he happened to uh, wake me up in the middle of the night, and you were screaming and uh, Yeah, I don't believe a word of what you're saying, but, uh, yeah, okay. It was, um, it was gross. What do you mean? What did you do? <laughs> Remember this, Glenn? <laughs> what are you doing? Does <laughs> ring a bell? No, not really. <laughs> Remember that? Sleep, eh? Remember saying that? Eh? Happy bunny. I'm a happy bunny. You know? I'm a happy bunny, Glenn. I'm a happy bunny. Remember saying that? No, I don't. Remember saying you were a happy bunny in your sleep? We going to a segment now? I think we're rolling a segment now. And uh, this, uh, <laughs> this is uh, actually something similar to Glenn's sleep. I had a horrible dream. Uh, and I guess I was able to document that dream on video. And we'd like to roll that and show you a bit of that. We hooked cables up to my ear. And uh, we were able to document the dream. So let's just roll that now. I don't do that. Oh, yeah, you were doing that. <laughs>
Meat. 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 It's a kind of. It's a kind of meat. It's a kind of. It's a kind of meat. It's, 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 it's my favorite. It's a kind. It's a kind of. It's the kind of meat. My kind of meat. It's my kind of meat. It's my kind of meat. It's my it's my kind of meat. It's my kind of meat. It's my kind of meat. It's my kind. It's my it's my it's my it's my kind. It's my kind. What's your name? Ian. Ian. Yeah. Yeah. Have a bagel? Yeah. This one. Try that. All right. Have you, were you here last week? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> I was. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. So, um, how did you get here tonight? A car. Car, yeah. yeah. How did you get here tonight? I drove. You drove? Mm -hmm. Anyone get here any other way other than driving? The bus? <laughs> you have any fun things happen to you on the bus tonight? Your name's Jason, right? What's your name? Jason. Jason. Jason Potman? Yes. Yes. <laughs> What's your name? Chris. Chris. And you guys took the bus? We took yes. the bus. You sing Christmas carols on the bus? I did. did. Oh yeah. Yeah. Can I look in your wallet? <laughs> if you really want it. Yeah. <laughs> There's no prophylactics in there, eh? No. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Who's that? Who's that? That's his son. son. Your son? Yeah. Wow. Look at that, Jason. I didn't know you had a son. Yeah. I have a son. Wow, that's congratulations. Two months old tomorrow. Oh, wow. That's exciting. I don't want to look through your wallet anymore. Oh. You, you have a picture of his son, though? Yeah, yeah I have a picture of his friend. son. Yeah. You have a picture of his son? Yeah. No, he doesn't no, have a son. I don't have a son. Oh, no, okay. Yeah. Daughter? No. Huh? Sister? Yeah, I have let's, a sister. Let's go up here and talk to these. People. A little slack here. By the way, if you want to be part of the studio audience here on the show, you just talk, you dial 7330023. Is that what everyone did? Did y'all dial 7330023 during the week? We were here last week and we got the number from them. What's that? We were here last week we got the number from whoever was at the door. Okay, the 7330023 number? Uh, was that it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and you just called that and then you can come down. Hey guys. What's your name? Rob. Hi, Rob. Did you call the 7330023 number? No. No. Oh, how'd you get get here? Darcy. Oh, Darcy, you're a friend of Darcy's? Brother. Okay, Darcy's one of the producers of the show. Yeah. You're Darcy's brother? Yep. Oh, wow. Where is Darcy? Eaten by wolves. Okay. Good. Dar you look a lot like Darcy. Here, let me come over here and talk. We well, can sit in there, here. Okay. I'll just come right up here and talk. <laughs>
So. <laughs> so what? What's your name? <laughs> Pascal. Okay. And how'd you get here tonight, Pascal? I uh, drove. Okay. Pascal. Yes. Pascal. Glenn, yeah. come here. <laughs> come here, Glenn. Come up here above the lighting grid. Why? Just come up here with me. And we're going to throw to our VTR segment <laughs> with the skiing. Oh. Come on up, quick. Yeah. OK, we're going to throw. We were downtown in the, uh, the Byward Market earlier. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to throw this segment out in the Byward Market. Are we going to VTR now? Oh, you have braces? I have a retainer, look. Wow. It's fascinating. Huh. Okay, come on, guys. What time is it? No way. What time is it? Hey, come on, come on. It's fun, eh? Come on, come on, just come on, just forget about, just forget about, come on, just 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 come on, okay, uh, this way, what's your name? Terralee. Terralee? Okay. Hi. Hi, I'll talk to you in a minute, okay, Barry? Sure. One minute, okay. Come on, this way, Terralee. Hi. Uh, see? Just, just one moment. Steve Anderson and uh, Etienne, is it? Etienne. Etienne. Okay, nine-time world karate champion and uh, nine-time U.S. karate champion as well. Yeah. That's exciting. And you live in yeah. Ottawa now? Yeah. Well, but you were born in, in Ohio. Yeah. Why, why do you live in Ottawa now? I, I have a karate school. It just seems like a, an interesting place for the U.S. world karate champion and, and you're doing movies and stuff to end up in Ottawa. Well, I came up here about five years ago. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, Decided to stay. Once you open a business, it's kind of hard to leave. Yeah, that's that's that's. Um, and you you've been the, where where did you compete with the, uh, with uh, the karate? I guess all over around the world. the world and all over the world. Tell me a bit about this movie because that sounds interesting. Just... Well, it's a television series called Martial Masters, <clears throat> and we start shooting in Universal Studios in January, mm -hmm. in California. Uh, it's along the lines of American Gladiators, but with special effects. Mm -hmm. Okay. What kind of special effects? Oh, uh, well, uh, fancy, fancy explosions and stuff? Uh, yeah, yeah. Big, um, loud sort of car accidents and things well, like that? Well, uh, no, no, um, it's, uh, like I said, it's along the lines of American Gladiators, and we'll be in a, uh, almost in an arena type <laughs> atmosphere. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there'll be electric fences and things like that that you get kicked against. And, uh, but it's a movie, though. Uh, no, it's a more or less a television series, very much like uh, American Gladiators. Okay. And so what's, what's the karate uh, business that you operate? I have a uh, world champion, Steve Anderson Karate, in Orleans. OK. And Aitzen is, is one of your? Uh, He's one of my best students, one of my very best. Do you think he could flip me or Glenn? Uh, yeah, he can. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he can. Could he He's, flip you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you think we could all get flipped by him right now? Uh, one at a time? If that's what you want. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> kind of fun. I think we could go me, and then Glenn, and then you. You'd flip me, uh, then Glenn, then you. OK, I've been flipped enough tonight, but uh, I Do you want to try and do that, Etienne? Sure. OK, let's, let's try and get flipped. Should we get flipped? Yeah! <laughs> How about you flip Glenn first, then? Oh, no, you go first. OK. <laughs> Hey, come on, come, come on over here. Um, 
Yeah. Should I try and hold, should I try and uh, keep myself from getting flipped? You don't really want to do this, do you? Yeah. Oh yeah. Now just flip me on the ground type thing. Okay. Are you gonna flip me right over your uh, back or? Don't you throw me on this concrete floor, please? <laughs> throw me in, throw me into the chair. Throw me into the chair. Flip me right over into the chair. Okay. No, I don't mind. I won't get it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's let's go. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, when you flip Glenn after too, okay? Okay. On the chair. On the chair, yeah. Okay. And you gotta be on the ground. Both feet. Okay. Oh <laughs> okay. should I shall I try and throw myself over? Or? Just let me on the ground. Put me on the cement floor. Just let me on the cement floor. Land then on the cement floor. Yeah. <laughs> How about if I flip you? You flip me no. and then flip one. No, no. But I tell you, with you, I'm gonna actually, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fight back here, okay? <laughs> well, okay, if you want to. <laughs> Okay, let us do this gently. Okay. 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 But I'm gonna I'm gonna fight back. I'm serious. Okay, turn okay. on. Okay. Okay. Let's go easy. Okay. Let's go easy. Are, are you ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You'll you'll never do it. <laughs> <laughs> he lowered his center of gravity. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Oh! Let's try it again. Let's try it again. I I tried to stop that. Okay. Okay. You ready? Yeah. No problem. No Stronger problem. than you thought, eh, Steve? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Are you okay? Oh, no. You want to get to the point? Yeah. That's actually kind of fun. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Until you land. Yeah. Now, how are we going to wrap up? We're going to roll a segment. And then we're going to come back and we'll do some martial arts uh, ballet. And that's what you're here to do, really, Aitzen, right? Not flip people. OK, so let's roll that segment. We went down to the uh, Byward uh, Market, and we talked to some people and skied on bread. I'm sick of all the things that I know now. Really just the same, so sad, yeah. I'll go all the things that are never had. Really just the same, it's never I got the skis, I've got my boots, jacket, mitts, uh, hat, goggles, bindings, bread, and uh, we're going to do some skiing today.
spare a dollar, <laughs> possibly. For some bread, for my bread mattress. Oh, thank you very much. It's for my, it's for my bread mattress. Oh, thank you. What's your name? Anne. You're very generous, Anne. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Could you, you sir? Could you spare a dollar for my bread mattress? Can I try your bike? Yep. You want to? Yeah, I would. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Could you come here for a moment? I, I'm in somewhat of a dilemma here. Could, could you run in and buy me as much bread in that store there for $2, please? How old are your kids? Nine, seven. Wow, it must be kind of exciting, isn't it? No. <laughs> are, they, are they in school now, or are they working? Well, school's out June 23rd, so... Okay, are they working for the summer? Yeah. They have summer jobs? They're working, yeah. What are they doing? They're keeping, yeah. Exactly. Well, that's what I'm thinking, too. Excuse me, sir! Excuse me, in the van, in the yellow van, sir! Excuse me! Excuse me, could you lend me a dollar, please, for a loaf of bread? For a loaf of bread, could you lend me a dollar, please? Thank you very much. What's your name? Crystal. Crystal? Well, thanks for the dollar, Crystal. Have a good day, okay? Bye-bye. Okay. Nice meeting you. My name is Crystal. <laughs> gives me a dollar. <laughs> Could you lend me a dollar, sir, for my bread mattress? My my bread mattress. These are these are $350 skis. Could you be kind, be so kind as to lend me a dollar for a loaf of bread, sir? Kind sir, kind gentleman. Kind gentleman. If I come get oh that's disgusting, eh, that you're making me do this? I'll meet you in the middle. Meet you in the middle. Give a guy a chance. Oh, oh, meet you in the middle. Do a little dance. Oh, meet you in the middle. Thank you very much. <laughs> I thought I wasn't going to come back, eh? <laughs> With this beauty. Thanks. No problem. Thought you were going to take off with my poles. What? I thought you were going to take off with my poles. <laughs> here with Steve Anderson and we're good we're doing some martial arts ballet we're gonna be doing some martial arts ballet that sounds something I've never even heard of that before personally but uh, I guess that's something that originated it's not much of that going on in Canada I guess well not a whole lot we're the uh, the, the only Canadian school that, that does it mm -hmm. uh, right now um, and we're about well, my, uh, all of my students uh, do it it's a uh, it's a prearranged uh, martial arts moves to music, mm -hmm. actually to the beat of the music, and it was an invented by a guy from the U.S. by the name of Jun Ri. Okay, and how what how did it start? Like he he how did he think of it? Do you know what exactly what happened? Or he just, um, just start, thought it'd be neat to do ballet and it seems like a strange combination. That's all at first yeah. year ballet and karate. Well, sort you have of like to... a um, a really masculine sort of flip the guy and smack him in the desk sort of sport, <laughs> and uh, and, yeah, and uh, yes. ballet combined. You know, it's kind of like a I Get upset know. about that throw, huh? No, no, I'm not. 
But you know what I mean, though. Yeah, like, yeah. you don't see a lot of ballerinas flipping guys around. You know? Well, uh, when, you, when you see it, you'll see that it's very uh, ballet-like. Mm -hmm. But you don't wear the little tutu and the tights and stuff? Oh, uh, no, no, not yet. Have you ever worn a tutu before? Uh, in little tights? Not recently. <laughs> Me neither, Ash. Um, okay, well, let's, let's see some. Uh, how long is uh, your routine, A-10? Well, Let's, let's, let's see some, let's, I guess we have some music, we're going to roll some music and uh, we'll see a bit of a, a demonstration here. Yelling make it easier? Yeah. So make it, uh, why do you do the yelling? Because it's for more power. More power? You, when, you, when you exert your oxygen out of your lungs like that? Yeah. Really? Is that, it's there, uh, when did they realize that that gave you more power? How did someone come to that conclusion one day? They just one day they sort of, ah! Hey, I had a little more power in that one. No, <laughs> proper breath breathing is uh, essential in anything you do, especially in martial arts. Plus, um, it's, it's called vocal harassment to scare your opponent and to uh, to release your, your, your air. Just in case you get the wind knocked out of you, it's not like you're you forcefully getting the wind knocked out of you in case of a punch or a kick. Great. Well, I appreciate you guys coming on the show, and uh, and uh, I'd like to have you on again sometime, and we can maybe do some, some more uh, martial arts ballet. Thanks for dropping off. Next time, you can join me. We're gonna hear a song from Punch Buggy now, right? Yeah. Senator? Okay, here's their uh, CD, Punch Buggy CD, and uh, the, and uh, what song are you guys playing? Signal. Signal, yeah. Signal. Okay, here's Punch Buggy, and uh, let's just do some some music and talk to you guys. Later.
There we go. Am I on? Hello? Okay. So, uh, how you guys doing? What was that song? Signal. Signal? <laughs> Tell me a bit about your CD then and your tour. Tell me uh, quickly a bit about that. We went on The Price is Right. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. You played on The Price is Right? I've never seen a band on The Price is Right. So. <laughs> well, no, we didn't. We, we were in the audience. Adam, you, you had some haunted house stories about it that I, uh, I thought were... Oh, we stayed... afraid of the dark. <laughs> um, we stayed in a haunted house in Texas, mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, I was pretty scared. I have a quote about it, actually. Oh. Jim, can we go to the van? They can't get us there. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared. I was scared. It was, like, it was a 150-year-old plantation. It was haunted, too. It was totally deserted. Well, let's see the magazine one. Give me that. I was really... I was super scared. Look at this, too. This must be exciting for you guys right now. Where is it? The uh, national chart, you guys are number four on the uh, top 50 right now. That's wow. Okay, wow. Well, that's Punch Buggy. I guess we'll, you guys are going to do another song in a few minutes and uh, when we roll the credits. And uh, that's Punch Buggy. Okay, so uh, I guess that's it for the show pretty well, right? How much time do we have left in the show? Two minutes, okay, so I'll just quickly wrap up. I want to say next week on the program is Vibe Squad and uh, Leslie Clough will be on to uh, demonstrate miniatures. She's a miniature collector, as well as uh, Howard Schachter and uh, someone else will be on UFO researchers uh, next week. And I also want to throw it a punch buggy right now, and uh, we'll see you next week. Yeah! <laughs>
If you have any questions or comments about this program, call the Rogers Community 22 viewers.